Thank you for purchasing one of Elk Rack Trader's Spirit Feather Kits. This video tutorial is designed to give you a visual instruction on how to put together one of our Spirit Feathers. Each kit includes one feather that has been hand painted to look like a Golden Eagle Feather, two thin strips of deer hide leather that will be used as the ties, one wider strip of deer hide leather that will be used to wrap around the quill of the feather, and two glass beads that will be used for decorating the finished Spirit Feather. Items not included in the kit that you will need will be a pair of scissors that are sharp enough to cleanly cut leather and rubber cement type glue such as Duco. Duco is the brand that we prefer for leather working, but most any quality rubber cement glue will work for this project. You should be able to find rubber cement glue at most any craft stores or the craft section of a major retailer. If there's some excess debris along the quill, then go ahead and just take your finger along the quill to rub it off. If there's split in the fletching, then go ahead and slightly breathe on that part of the fletching or slightly lick your fingers and gently run your fingers along that part of the fletching to bring it back together. This is the process that birds use to maintain their feathers and it's called preening. Now you want to decide how much of the quill you want to wrap with leather. It's recommended to measure two and a half inches down the quill starting from the bottom of the fletching. Let's go ahead and cut about here on the quill. Next, you want to take one of the thinner strips of leather and hold it along one side of the quill to measure how much you'll be gluing down. In the next step, you'll be using the glue to adhere the leather to the quill. If you are concerned with accidental skin contact with the glue, then you may want to wear a pair of protective surgical gloves for the next few steps of wrapping the leather on the feather. Brace the leather against the quill like this in a position that's comfortable to your hands and take the glue and run a bead of glue along the leather that will be glued down along the quill. Now press the leather along the quill and hold in place for a minute and a half to two minutes while the glue dries. Now take the other thinner strip of leather and repeat the same process for gluing down the leather to the quill. These two thinner strips of leather that you are gluing down will be the ties to the spirit feather. When the glue is dried, take the wider piece of leather and hold it against the bottom of the quill so that you can glue it in place. This will serve to anchor that end of the leather as you wrap it firmly around the quill. Leave about a quarter of an inch of the leather above where you are pressing so that you can run a small bit of glue along that end of the leather to glue down to the quill. Now hold down that end of the leather against the quill for a minute and a half to two minutes while the glue dries. Once the glue has dried, you can start wrapping the leather around the quill of the feather. Be sure to slightly overlap the leather as you are wrapping so that there are no gaps. Continue wrapping the leather around the quill until you have reached the bottom of the fletching. Overlap the leather one time at the top of the wrapping and then cut a quarter of an inch of the leather free so that it can be glued down. Run a small bead of glue at the end of that free end of leather and then press down and hold it in place for a minute and a half to two minutes. When the glue is dried, hold out the leather ties to decide the length the ties should be. Now use your scissors to cut the leather to your desired length. We recommend a minimum length of 7 to 8 inches. Now take one of the ends of the leather ties and cut it at an angle so that the leather has a tapered end. Now repeat the process with the other leather tie. Hold the two tapered ends of the leather ties together, 
with the flesh side or fuzzy sides where they are facing together and then twist them together. This will make it easier to pull and push the leather through the two glass beads. Take one of the two glass beads and gently push the twisted leather ends through the hole in the bead. Now, gently pull the bead down the leather to the base of the quill. Repeat the process for the second glass bead. If you wish, you can cut off the tapered ends of the leather ties for better aesthetics. You have now completed the kit and have made a spirit feather. This means that you're awesome. This completes this video tutorial on our spirit feather kits. Please check out our website for other craft kits and artwork from Elk Rack Traders.